Actually, good afternoon because it's half past one. Uh, it's Sunday and it is day 24 of Vlogtober. One week to go. We have spent the morning cleaning out the chickens and, oh, I'm just putting my boots on, and tidying up the garden a bit and attempting to have a little bit of a relaxed start. Um, and then Lilia is now about to go to our local shopping centre, Blue Water, and she is going to meet her friend. Do you want to tell them what you're going to go and see at the cinema? Dear Evan Hansen! If you didn't understand that, it was Dear Evan Hansen, which is the film of the musical, which is the, the musical book. of the book. <laughs> and she's very excited very because excited. it's... Very it, excited. Is it, when did it come out? Uh, this week. Friday. Yeah, so she's very excited to go and see that. So she's gonna go, we're gonna drop at Blue Water, and then hopefully we, Dan and I and Phoebe, are gonna go to the Christmas tree farm, which has lots of animals which we can feed. And we're hoping that when we get there, it won't be too busy. So, but that is our plan. Our plan is to go and feed some farm animals and hopefully have some fun and somehow choose what we're gonna have for dinner tonight because we haven't come up with that yet. The chickens um, have been roaming about all morning into the afternoon. They've now been returned to their run, which they weren't too happy about. They prefer to be out and about destroying the garden, but they have to go away because we're gonna go out. And that is Sunday so far. <laughs> There's something we need It's a leap of faith A step away from the comfort zone And be a little brave So take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your knees It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the day
my favorite. <laughs> they sell on the lane. It's a bit cold for an ice cream. <laughs> Is this fun, baby? Yeah, especially seeing Bridget. Baby, what is it that you now want to keep in the garden? Oh, she's the cow. <laughs> she was pretty cool. I miss her, Bridget. So we are at Christmas Tree Farm, oh, which is in Down, Mum. which is the home of Charles Darwin. And it's very hard to get us all in and talk. And we're in a cool little shelter. Not that it's raining. And we're all having hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. And we even were lucky enough, we're near Beacon Hill Airport. They have a lot He's of, harmless. Um, uh, <laughs> He's harmless. <laughs> they have a lot of spitfires there. And one flew over earlier, which is quite nice. I think I, mani I think I managed to film it. Well, that's good. Spitfire you've, footage you've insert. Got this. Yeah, that's why I don't Ready? I'm going to take a massive bite out of this. Rum. Alright peeps. Even when we're on a day out, we can't escape the chickens. Chicken! Chicken! Bye! First we have to do dope or nope on this location. Definitely dope. What do you think? Dope. It's a Bridget. Ah! I miss her. Phoebe ah! has named the cow Bridget. I say dope too. Also, hot chocolate review. Mum doesn't like it. I think it's amazing. So does Dad. I can, I'd give that a good three and a half out of five. Out of ten, I would give this 7.5. I would give it a three. <coughs> out of ten? Yeah. Ooh, someone's a bit Why does she think she is? <laughs> There's a chicken behind you. Right They're running away again. <laughs> it's like, hey, hey. Run this way. I miss Bridget. Hi. Hello. Wondrous thing. Oh. I wish I could do that. Oh, you're a lucky little cow. Oh, hello. Careful, Beef. I think he just wants to say hello. Hi. Hi, darling. Daddy? Moo. We are back from Christmas Tree Farm and it was so much fun and we all really enjoyed feeding all the animals. I had to wash my hands about five times. I felt like I was just covered in slobber. Oh, there's an egg box balanced on my fence. I wonder if that's the neighbours providing us with empty egg boxes. That's very handy. I'm going to go and get that. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go and edit now. We've all just got home. Lily, Phoebe's going to go and get changed. Dan's doing some ironing and they're going to watch some Hetty Feather together. I'm going to disappear upstairs and go and edit everything I filmed today because I haven't done any editing yet and see what I've got. I'm hoping it's gonna be quite a nice cozy vlog, this one, um, because it's felt like quite a nice cozy day. Lilia's gonna go out for dinner after she's been to the cinema. With, so she's with one of her friends from drama school, uh, who's in actually the year above her at school. And they, so they're at the cinema now, and then they're gonna go and get a pizza, and then we're gonna go and collect them. So, uh, and she's texting us quite regularly, keeping us updated. The last text we had was, I'm in Starbucks and they spelt my name right. <laughs> um, yeah, so she's having a nice time. We've had a lovely time and now we're home and warm. I've got an orange squash on the go. We're gonna have omelette for our dinner because Lily is out. And we said to Phoebe, what shall we have? And she said omelette. Unfortunately, we've got quite a good supply of eggs. So that's what we're gonna do. I've been um, screenshotting all the questions I've had over the last few days. So at some point this week, I'm gonna try and sit down and maybe just dedicate one of my Vlogtobers to just doing a Q and A maybe. I'm just a bit worried it might be a bit boring. Maybe I should do it over a couple of days. Anyway, I will eventually just compile all of those uh, questions and just do a Q and A, whether that's in Vlogtober or maybe just as a, one of the weekly vlogs afterwards. 
Uh, yeah, right. Let's go and get on with it. It is about half past six and dinner's in the oven. Well, the chips are in the oven and Dan and I are about to go and put the chickens to bed. This is gonna get less appealing as it gets colder. I could, Dan just opened the door and I've got a block. I'm gonna have to have a coat by the back door, I think. It's not too bad. I've got my knitted cardigan on. So they put themselves to bed and we go down and we bring their, I could just see, what's that glowing? Oh, it's a cat, it's a cat's eyes. Coming up the garden. Yeah, there she goes. Um, they put themselves to bed naturally, and we go down and take their food and their water in. So it, a, it stays dry, and b, it doesn't attract things like mice and rats and things. So Dan's just checking that they're all safely tucked up. Are they all tucked up? They are all tucked up. Door That's is shut. shut in. They make a right mess of their water bowl because they get mud on their beaks. <laughs> so we've just emptied it and now I'm going to give it a good rinse with the hose into the drain, which is here. All safety put away. <laughs> Brand new clean mat today. I'm going to try and wash one and like every week or two and then put the other one out to try and keep it fresh. I think that beeping means the chips are ready. So I'm going to go and wash my hands and then I'm going to make the salad to go with our omelette and chips. Uh, we should hear from Lilia shortly to go and pick her up. And it's been a lovely day. Um, I'm really, really tired, which I think might be the effect of the vaccine. Or maybe I'm just tired. I don't know. I haven't had any other effects at all other than a lot of you notice, actually, I have a bruise. And the reason I've got a bruise, that was the side she did the COVID jab, is she hit something because I bled when she, she said, oh, no, you're bleeding. She said, I think I might have hit something on the way in. So that's why I've got a bruise on this arm, because some, something was just slightly amiss. Um, but other than that I've had and I had dead arms at the top I couldn't lift my arms the next day but other than that I've had no ill effects at all I feel fine unless it, I'm tired in which case that is an effect or as I said I could just be tired I'm wittering again aren't I right I'm washing my hands and making salad and thank you so much for watching um as ever um yeah I'm just really happy to be able to make these videos I love doing them and it's lovely to hear from you and we all love reading your comments or just knowing you're there we don't expect anyone to comment or do anything like that but thank you I really am wittering aren't I Dan it's... is rolling his eyes at me like <laughs>